Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Actors Area. I'm your host, Sean Grant. Happy Monday to you. December 5th, man, where has the time gone this year? Has been great, but it has flown by fast. Um, it's pretty amazing to think about um, that we're in the last month getting ready to go into 2017, but it's important to remember we still got, uh, is that 26 days left in this month, so we want to make the best of it and continue moving forward with our goals, our dreams, our aspirations, all that great stuff. Uh, once again, hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Hope you're doing uh, fantastically well, and I hope you're ready for a great message because that is what I am going to bring to you today. A uh, few things I want to touch on before I get going. I've got this, uh, this group that I started on Facebook called The Vibrational Actor, and all it is is basically teaching actors how to vibrate with the success that they want uh, through different techniques and just becoming better in their profession. So uh, simple yet highly effective. Uh, feel free, if you're on Facebook, join that group. Um, posting new material every single day just to enlighten people on how to be better because ultimately it's all about everybody winning in this business uh, as far as I'm concerned that's what it comes down to so I'm trying to teach and share all the things that I'm able to in order to help people to continue to move so it's called the vibrational actor feel free to join that group if you're on Facebook um, what else what else what else yes the Actors Area video series. There's a video series that I did not too long ago. I'm giving it away for free on my website at www.SeanGrantActing.com. So I definitely want you to take advantage of that. It's a seven-part series giving you basically tips to be a more vibrational, successful actor. And um, it's pretty unorthodox, but at the same time, it's definitely stuff that you can use. And I'm just going to continue to do that, guys. Continue to, to give you more and more to help you out, to help you move further, and to get to where you want to go. Also, coming up on the new year, I'm also coaching, doing a lot of teaching and stuff. I uh, just worked on an awesome commercial, had an opportunity to, to teach a few actors there. Um, if you're interested in any type of coaching, um, not any type, but <laughs> acting coaching, um, just taking it to another level at the end of the day, feel free to give me, um, to contact me at, uh, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Yes. Contact me in my email. S H A U N G zero four at gmail.com. Would love to work with you in the new year, help you get on the fast track to realizing, um, your dreams as quick as possible. Woof. With that being said, enough with the announcements. Let's get into the message. Okay, so we're looking at staying faithful to your dreams through desert experiences. Okay, staying faithful to your dreams through desert experiences. So if you're understanding how the universe works, you know that the universe works in patterns and in cycles. And sometimes... You know, growing up in church, they used to always tell us, you know, there's a cycle for increase or prosperity. There's a cycle for growth. There's a cycle for standing still. There's a cycle for learning. So all of these cycles run at different points within our lives. And it's important for us to realize intuitively what cycle that we're in. Now, this can make the difference between success and hardship because Ultimately, and one of the, the biggest things that come to mind is financially. You may reach a point where you are experiencing increase in financial. You're booking jobs. You're getting money coming from different ways, and you're loving it. But at the same time, you've got to be on point to know that things won't always flow this good. It's just certain points. You'll, you'll always have money flowing to you, definitely, if you're in the right vibration, but it won't completely unload like it will at some times and at some points in your life. So you've got to be sure about that because you want to prepare in advance that you're taking care of what you need to take care of in order to stay on top of when the money's not coming in um, 
as prosperous as it was beforehand. So not to be confusing, but the, what I'm trying to get at is understanding the patterns of the universe, okay? And so how does this relate to your career? You come to a point where you're not booking. You come to a point to where it seems like you're working hard, but nothing is truly happening for you. We call it a desert experience because there's nothing really flowing into your life. So you can do one of two things. You can react to it and get bitter, get discouraged, get down on yourself and start to question and start to doubt, you know, what type of actor you are, or you can take it as exactly what it is. It's just a cycle. It's a season within your life, which ultimately means we have to look inward. We have to grow inward. We have to fix certain things before we're able to be thrusted into a new level. Okay, so what's some of the things that we can do? Well, whenever I'm in down cycles, I like to read as many books as possible. And what's, what's, what's awesome is I feel like the self-help, the self-transformation type genre ties so much in to the whole part of the entertainment career because as you're booking more jobs and you're working with more and more people, you're evolving, right? You're evolving into um, the person you want to be ultimately. And you're using these interpersonal skills to be able to take yourself up to a new level, to a new level of performance, to a new level of dealing with different people. And you always want to make sure that you're making the best impression. So you want to be on top of your skills personally, no matter what it is. So that's one thing, reading. Another thing is podcasting. Another thing is um, if you feel like it's a good fit, here's my stance on acting classes. If you feel like you can go to an acting class and you can be challenged each time, you can learn something each time you feel like you're absorbing stuff each time from that class, it's definitely a good fit. It's definitely something that's going to help you along the lines in your career. But if it's not the case, I would take that money and figure out how you can build your brand, okay? And building your brand just comes down to being more active on your social media, you know, putting out a blog. Like, you can go to um, GoDaddy and get, get like, websites for um, domain names for, like, five bucks or something like that, six bucks, and, and start a blog. You know, if you feel like you have a voice and you want to share something with people and you want to help them to... Um, to be better in their uh, p career uh, pursuits, go for it. You know, ultimately it comes down to just giving back, you know, and we all have stuff that we can give back from the person who's done 150 different jobs to the person that's only done like two or three. You know, everybody has something to bring to the table. So when you reach so a so-called quote unquote desert experience, oftentimes it's just you having to hone your skills, having to get to a place to where you can basically sharpen those edges. And these are the perfect times to do that because what will happen, and, and trust when it does, because there's always a cycle, the tide always goes out and comes back in, you'll hit that point to where you prosper, where you just take off and you're on that, that ocean type flow where you just want to be able to, to, to make sure you're, you can handle what's being thrown at you. And basically, by enhancing and improving your skill set, you'll be ready for what anybody throws at you at that moment. So it's so important to know that when you're at a season like that, you know, you're doing everything you can to enhance your own brand, okay? Then there's seasons like you may be experiencing a serious amount of hardship or just things doesn't seem to really go your way. And I'm here to tell you that this is more than likely, and I say more than likely, I'm like 99.99% sure it's a season of change because the first thing you have to realize about change is that ultimately, no matter how much we try to flow with it, change can be uncomfortable. Change can be something that we're not ready to accept right away. Like it, it makes you feel off balance sometimes. It makes you feel a bit uneasy. But the truth of the matter is just stay with it and not only stay positive, but stay 
optimistic that if you don't get fearful, if you don't get worried about what's happening, then what will transpire is you'll just ease into that change and that season will evolve on you to the point where it will bring out something truly, truly wonderful. You know, getting back to the um, the whole spiritual and, and church thing growing up, they used to tell us that it's always darkest before dawn. It's always um, a situation where you experience a lot of um, adverse situations before you get to the good stuff. And that's what's pretty awesome about, you know, being able to go through certain things that look like misfortune, but in actuality are only things that are helping us to be better. That's that's all change is. So the only reason that it can be uncomfortable is because it's not what we're used to. And by human nature, we get complacent, we get comfortable with things being the same way, the same way, the same way. That's why you got to, um, and this is a topic for another podcast, you got to just step out and just do stuff that challenges you, do stuff that, that takes you to a higher level, do stuff that really opens your brain to new experiences, as this will help your creativity also. So um, don't be afraid to just dive in and embrace those changing type seasons, okay? But ultimately, the main thing is, is you stay faithful through it all. As long as you have a goal, as long as you have a passion. And you know, I, I like to use dream, because a goal, yeah. Goals are like just small uh, incremental steps to that, that we take to get to our dreams. As long as you have a dream, because a dream will drive you past any obstacle. A dream will create the passion needed to overcome anything, even when it looks like your dream has died. That passion you have for that will keep you moving through any and everything. And it's like this. I always love this analogy. It's like you're, you're taking a cross-country drive across, um, let's say you're going from Florida to California, and you're going all the way from the bottom of the Panhandle and the Keys to the, um, the PCH and, and on the coast of the Pacific. And so you think about all the things you have to go through in order to, to get to that point. So there's beauty in the Keys. It starts out beautiful. Everything is great. Then you start going through, you know, a lot of these states where there's not much really to see. And it's just like dirt and, and just, you know, dead grass and, and desert road. And it's not much of anything, not very fruitful at all. And then when you finally push through that last leg, when you've gotten through um, Arizona, you're into California, and you finally get to that coastline, you see that beautiful Pacific, that is is how we have to treat our dreams. You're gonna go through the rocky points. You're gonna go through the hills. You're gonna go through the places where there's rain and like different type of inclement weather, sometimes even tornadoes when you're going through the Midwest. But if you stick with it, you will see that Pacific at the end, you know, and, it, and, and you'll be able to revel um, at the person that you have become after taking that journey, you know, we talked about this a little bit in, in past episodes, but it comes down to the journey. But the, 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 here is the kicker. You stay faithful to your dreams because one, you know, I'm going to become the greatest person that I possibly can be throughout this experience. And two, this is more importantly, there are people out there that you don't even know relying on you. And that's a beautiful thing because there were times in my life when I wanted to quit. There were times in my life when I just wanted to give up because I just felt like I couldn't do it anymore. As much as I loved my, my dream, as much as I loved moving towards it and, and, and all the stuff that it in, entailed, I just didn't want to do it anymore. And then I thought to myself, and this was what I call a divine download, a, a pure revelation, it got to a place of me having the realization that, you know what, there are people right now that are relying on me that I need to get to be, I need to get to the point where I can be the person that I need to be for them. And those people are in my life today. Those people 
have been in my life like the last year or w- whatever. And this is, these are things that have happened like 10 years ago. Like you just feel like giving up. You feel like quitting. You get to that point because it feels like nothing is ever going to happen. There's no sign of water. It's just straight desert, just dry. Nothing is flowing. Nothing is fruitful whatsoever. And from there, you realize that, okay, I'm not just doing this for myself. I'm not just doing this for myself. Realize that when we have a dream, your dream to be that person winning that Academy Award or be that person who's uh, that household name or that person that's giving that speech uh, to the academy and, and, and that person that's that's um, going across the world and, and fighting, you know, for global rights and all this other great stuff. You're not doing that just for you. That dream was given to you in order for you to give it to somebody else. So this brings on a whole new level of motivation understanding that you stay faithful to your dreams through desert experiences because it, it's not just about you. It's not just about us. It's about everybody that will be affected. You know, what if Barack gave up and he never became president? What if, you know, um, Michael Jordan decided to quit after he got cut? And, and, and like you get the picture if these people would have stopped at the first sign of adversity or at the first sign of, of um, basically the, 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 the place being dry and not fruitful, you know, it would have changed the face of how everything is done today. So you have to rely on yourself in that same regard. You could be listening to this and listening to this podcast right now and you could be the individual who is set to win like four or five awards next year. You could be the individual who is set to star in one of the biggest, most successful films of the decade. You just don't know. But you see that end result. And you know that not only are you counting on yourself, but there are other people that are counting on you to be that individual who can bring it to the table and make that thing come to, come to life that changes, that transforms the face of the industry, if you're in regards to acting, or the face of any industry for that matter, you know, but keep that in mind, especially when it gets hard, and that will keep you chugging through, guys, okay, so, woof, I'm a bit out of time, Um, thank you for joining me, thank you for tuning in, like I said, I hope you got um, something out of it today, which I'm sure you did, ultimately, your goal is just to stick with it, guys. Um, as I said, coaching is available. I'm here to help you in as many ways as I possibly can, but also to be a, a, an extremely vibrational person, an extremely vibrational actor, which will lead to success in other areas, especially in your career. So contact me if you want to do that, shaung04 at gmail.com. Um, also, make sure you're checking out the websites and uh, the Facebook group, The Vibrational Actor, as well. Like I said, there's so many resources there for you to learn more and more about how to be greater. Um, But all in all, thank you for listening in. Thank you for being with me today. Uh, I'm enjoying every minute of it. This is something I truly love doing, but it's because of you that I'm here to be able to do this and, uh, and find my voice to do it every single morning. So, Thank you for that, and I wish you much success today. Go after your dreams. Go after getting what you want, and don't take no for an answer, guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.